We are at IMTS 2024, heading into the United Grinding booth to talk with General Manager Andrew about one of their Studer grinders and see all the capabilities that this machine has to offer. Let's get in there to check it out. We are at IMTS 2024 in the United Grinding booth, and here with me is Andrew, the General Manager for United Grinding. He's going to be talking to us about the Studer Grinder behind us and all the capabilities that this machine can offer. So, Andrew, I'm going to turn it over to you, and why don't you tell us about the demo part that you guys have on this machine today? Sure. So, we brought the Studer S41 to IMTS this year to show the capabilities that we have and the versatility of our grinding machines. So, here you can see the part has a bunch of different features all in one setup. So we have different diameters, even the round diameters on here are not in center. So we're showing eccentric grinding, non-round grinding, both squares and triangles, thread grinding and taper grinding. So you can see all the different features that the machine can do. It's not a real part, but it shows everything that the machine could do if a customer had any of these features on an individual part. Well, a lot of capability you have going on in this machine. So uh, you talked about a lot of the different features. One of the things we didn't talk about was the ID grinding of the capabilities of this. Yep. So one of the big things is to get your OD and your ID perfectly concentric. And if you can do that all in one setup, there's no run out between the two features. So with this machine, if we were to have a chuck on it, we would be able to do the OD, threads, flats, everything on the external diameter, swivel the wheel around to this ID wheel over here and grind the ID at the same time so we can get all that concentricity put together in one part. And I know a big push for you guys on this style machine is to put the part in and take it out and it's totally complete. Exactly. So one of the things we're really focused on is not only being able to grind all these features in one setup, but also to inspect them. And so on this machine, we also have the availability of a laser inspection system to come in and measure the different diameters, measure the features. We can measure lengths, diameters, groove widths, stuff like that. Wow. And then we can actually know 100% that the part's finished and within tolerance before we take it out of the work holding so that we don't have that issue of putting it back in or taking it out to remeasure. Oh, it or that's like neat. That. So what type of inspection technology are you using inside there? I know you mentioned the lasers, but brand wise, or is this a United yeah, Grinding? It's something that we've contracted with. It's a United Grinding branded uh, uh a system. Okay. The nice thing about this though is normally when you measure a diameter like this you probe on one side of the part and you get a diameter mm -hmm. but now with the laser we can spin the part while we're measuring and we can take thousands of points for each revolution and we can actually wow. get a profile of the entire shape of the part not just a diameter. Now because the inspection is integrated in the machine does the inspection talk back to the control if the part is out of tolerance? Exactly so we okay. can have it regrind we can have it loop back to the beginning of the cycle or come back and just regrind that feature and we can have it do all kinds of things we can also go export that data outside if you have an interface that you want to take it to a cell computer or use that for your plant database sure. that traceability on your part you can couple it with a barcode scanner or something like that so you have that all traceable really popular in the aerospace industry for stuff like that really interesting so aerospace any other industries that primarily are looking at a machine like the suitor yeah so job shop as well so not only are we really flexible but job shops don't know what's going to come in from day to day so sure. they're always looking at uh, having all these capabilities from threads from non-round from multiple different diameters so that they can do all of that in one setup or just be able to have the equipment to do all those features so they can quote basically any grinding job that they see in the industry. That makes sense. And this is your largest model of this machine. What are the different capacities of the smaller models? That's correct. So we go from a 1600 millimeter between centers, which is about 63 inches, okay. down to about 400 millimeters, which is 16 inches. Oh, this is a pretty good range. So yeah, big range. So if you have smaller parts, you don't need to take up all the floor space that this machine takes. And then from a swing diameter, we start here at about 22 inches in swing diameter, and it goes down to about 13 inches in swing diameter. So we have a big range of different capacities, but depending on what the shop needs. Fantastic. Well, Andrew, thanks so much for being with us. If any of our viewers or anybody here at the show wants to learn more about this specific machine or any of the other grinders at United Grinding, where can they reach you guys at? So you can go to grinding.com where you can get all our contact information and uh, details on the machines. Awesome. Thanks so much. And be sure to visit the United Grinding booth here at IMTS 2024.